Colin and Laura, today you are surrounded by your family and friends, all of whom have gathered here to witness your marriage and to share in the joy of this special occasion. We are gathered here not to witness the beginning of what will be, but rather what already is. We don't create this marriage because marriage is created in the hearts of two loving people. So I wanted to start off by telling everyone a little bit about Laura. She is the absolute best person to go to Target with, make up dances with, watch scary movies with, and to just have a chill wine night with. She's also a very spontaneous person, but I will say the one thing that she's been planning for her entire life is this wedding. We've been dreaming about this day basically since I have been alive. Um, I've seen her wedding plans go from antique windows with cornflower blue and sunflowers to the beautiful things that you see today. The one thing that stayed the same is her dream man. Someone kind, caring, funny, and a little bit goofy. <laughs> Obviously, she found him. I'm so thankful that Laura found Colin because she deserves such a wonderful man. I remember when y'all first started dating, me, Colin, and Matt went to Florida and uh, had a wild week, but the first night we were there, nonstop, all night long, Colin and I were sitting on the beach and he couldn't stop talking about Laura. They were dating for about a month at this point and he was just telling me how much he missed her, and how much he wanted her to come on the trip with us. Uh, and I, I knew he was crazy for Laura then, and uh, it, it seemed at the time he had found his soulmate, and I'm glad that came true. I never thought this day would come, and now that it has, I couldn't be more excited and happier to be here with you. Who knew that this beautiful, sweet, funny woman would turn out to be the woman I love most in this world? When I thought I was done searching for love, and love was done searching for me, there you were. Now, I could not imagine another second of my life without you. From our amazing road trips together, to our camping adventures, to the days we just want to stay in and binge watch shows and movies together, I have cherished every second of those memories we have built, and now I get to look forward to a lifetime of them. I promise to always be there for you like you've always been there for me. Through all of the good and the bad, I go where you go. I will always be your biggest fan and supporter. I am so proud of everything you have accomplished and the woman you have become. I am so honored and proud to be able to call you my wife. I am yours and you are mine from this day till the end of my days. I love you forever and always. Hey, my sweet thing. Here we are. <laughs> It's finally the day I get to show you and everyone I love you and how much you mean to me. You have been so many of my firsts and I can't even count them. You were the first man to call me beautiful, to mind me flowers. The first one I ever got to call mine. And you make me feel so worthy. You were the first one to make me fall madly in love. And I'm so thrilled I get to share every other first in my life with you by my side. I'm not sure what my life was before your singing, <laughs> the obnoxious amount of nicknames you create, or the country music that you've gotten me to love. <laughs> and I'll finally admit that. <laughs> or I can tell you that I was not complete before you. <laughs> I don't know what our future holds, but I do know that no matter what, that you've got me completely. A little over four years ago, I met this boy on a dating app and he messages me before the sun rises and I decided to take a chance. And we sit on the couch and he looks me in the eyes and says, you are so beautiful. He kisses me and he had me from day one. <laughs> Fast forward to running around your apartment chasing each other and being the dorks that we are until I bumped your knee. <laughs> and I look 
looked at you and I almost let those words slip, <laughs> but I stopped myself. <laughs> and that's one of my biggest regrets because I wish I would have told you right there. <laughs> but then you blurted it out the next day on that couch where you told me you, where you kissed me first and <laughs> we couldn't have been in, any more in sync. <laughs> and I think about all the road trips and camping trips we've taken, which is my favorite place to be with you. And I think of our sweet baby Bean that we've adopted together. <laughs> and if you treat your kids half as good as you are with him, then you'll be the, be the best father. <laughs> I think of how the many homes that we've created together and the family and friends that I've gained because of you. And I think of these memories and so many more. And I think how lucky I am to share this life with you. You once told me that everything that doesn't make sense about you makes sense when you're with me. And I think that perfectly describes us. And you make it so easy for me to be myself. You're my best friend and you make me feel really incredibly beautiful. And you make me smile every day. And I cannot wait to love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I finally get to call you my husband and I feel so ready. <laughs> I love you so much. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Texas, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife and you may kiss the bride. Present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Colin and Laura O'Brien.